Yo, what's up you guys? So, as I'm sure a lot of you already know, making a great cosmetic set can be a great way to stand out from other players, gain some attention from medics, and other players as well. Me personally, I've enjoyed putting together these kinds of cosmetic sets ever since starting Team Fortress 2. I think it's a lot of fun, and if you put the time into it, you can really make a lot of different and creative looks for your character. And so today, I wanted to start off another brand new series where I'll be showing you guys some of the best cosmetic sets I can think of for Heavy, five sets per episode. With each episode, I'll explain what cosmetics you'll need to have to make that set, and a display of each set when it's finished. So anyways, without further ado, let's hop right in. The Wild West Outlaw Alright, so this is basically a look I threw together after the release of the Sinner Shade in the Smith Smith 2017 update. The hat looked really cool, but it didn't seem to have a lot of cosmetics it made sense with to me, but after some time I was finally able to throw this together. This to me just kind of looks like some huge western bandit who is all in it for himself, and it's a pretty intimidating look honestly, and kind of reminds me of something you might see off of the show Westworld. But anyways, to make this look, all you're going to need is the Sinner's Shade, the Bruiser's Bandana, and the Commissar's Coat. Now if you're not quite wild about the Bruiser's Bandana's edgier look, no worries. This loadout will also still look great if you want to switch that out for either the War Goggles or the Cuban Bristle Crisis. The Hulkamania Now, some of you may have already seen me show off this loadout on Pyro Joe's channel before, but just in case you haven't, here it is. So this cosmetic set is obviously based off of the famous WWE wrestler, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. This cosmetic set fits the Heavy so well because the Heavy is already a huge individual and has a huge upper body. Not to mention with the drop of yet another new Smith Smith cosmetic, the Wild West Whiskers, this set really just all comes together to look a lot like the world champ himself. So to make this look, you're going to want to grab the Heavy Duty Rag, the Wild West Whiskers, some Australian Gold Paint, and the Heavy Lifter. Use the Australian Gold on the Wild West Whiskers to create that blonde hair Hulk was known for. And also, as an alternative look for the champ, you can always switch out the Heavy Lifter for the Heavyweight Champ to show off the Hulkster with his belt. The Made Man So most every TF2 player should know that the Heavy has a variety of Mafia-esque cosmetics that come at his disposal. To me, this is just one of my favorite combinations to create that look with, because it's got the slicked back hair, the cigarette dangling from his mouth, a nice suit, and a nice huge gun to come along with him. This set just fits the part so well that you can practically just imagine this guy whacking a bad egg for his boss. But anyways, to make this particular version, you're going to need the Minnesota Slick, some Lack of Hue Paint, Gray Bands, and the Siberian Sophisticate. Use the Lack of Hue Paint on the Minnesota Slick, and voila, you've got yourself some slicked back Italian mobster looking hair. However though, if you're not such a big fan of the hair, there's still tons of different cosmetics you can use to make this look, such as a variety of different fedoras, or the tipped lip. The Zeus. Probably one of my most favorite cosmetic sets for the Heavy, this cosmetic set closely resembles the mythological god of the sky and thunder, Zeus. Not only does it already stand out because of its very bright colors in game, but paired together with an Aussie Tomislav can also make for a great theme, as if Zeus was bolting you down with his lightning right there in the casual game. On top of that, the cosmetic piece on the Heavy's head will allow you to view MVM games in Roman style. Pretty neat, huh? But anyways, to create this set, you're going to need the Hardy Laurel, the All Father, the Heavy's Hockey Hair, and some extraordinary abundance of tinge paint. Put this set together, use the white paint on the hockey hair, and you've got yourself a great replica of the ruler of Olympus himself, Zeus. And, for an alternative Zeus, switch out the hockey hair for the white Russian, and switch out the hardy laurel for the heavy lifter. And lastly, the most metal heavy. So this by far is one of the most intimidating heavy loadouts you'll see in game. This is a set I threw together about a year ago, sometime after all the Batman cosmetics dropped, and the newest edition of the Arkham Knight Helm just really seemed to fit right in with the set. This look will definitely get you some attention. In fact, I remember playing a game not too long ago where I used this loadout, and actually someone commented on how terrifying it was to see these piercing eyes coming at you as a heavy mows down your team. So if that's the kind of response you're hoping for, build this set. To make this, all you're going to need is the 2 Fort Knight, the Dire Regime Panzerung, and the Purity Fist. To be honest, this set fits in so well together that you could use a variety of different headpieces and this set would still look terrifying. So feel free to be creative and create your own unique, terrifying version of this. But anyways, 
that's it for this episode of Joey's Cosmetic Garage. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like below if you did. Leave a comment. And until next time, this was Big Joey. Later.